Hey guys, so I recently received my April glam bag and I thought to myself I should totally make a video on the stuff that's in it and how to use it. So I thought I'd show you guys what's inside. I got a Be A Bombshell blush in Sweet Cheeks. I also got a Two Cosmetics eyeshadow duo in Heartache as well as a Healthy Sexy Hair Serum and a nail polish from Seishan. So I'm calling this look my pretty and pink spring look. I'm using these products. So first we're going to start out with the makeup. I am going to begin by contouring. Um, and you should too. I've already applied my foundation and concealer. I have a full video on it. If you want to see exactly how it is I do it, I will link it in the comment section below. Then I'm going in with the Be A Bombshell blush in Sweet Cheeks. And I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it through. I'm also making sure to add just a little bit, whatever's left over, on my brush, um, onto my nose, my forehead, and stuff like that so that I can get an all over rosy flush. Next I'm going to be using the eyeshadow duo from Two Cosmetics that came in the glam bag and I'm going to apply the matte pink shade to my lids. So I really love that this duo comes with a matte shade as well as a shimmery shade. So one is perfect for the lid or to blend into the crease. I'm using the matte pink to place it on my lid as you can see and then I'm going to go in with like a dark chocolatey type of brown color and I'm going to add that into my crease area just to give my lids a little bit of definition but you don't need to do this step if you don't want to. Next I'm going to take that shimmery pink that it comes with and I'm going to apply it as a highlight to the inner corners of my eyes as well as a brow bone, brow bone highlight. The Two Cosmetics Company actually donates one product to a local woman's charity for every product that you purchase which is amazing but anyway back to the tutorial I'm um, going to keep blending making sure to blend it through so it doesn't look harsh or anything um, which you should do and then after that I'm going to go ahead and use that matte pink again and place it on the lid just to bring back that color in case it got faded or um, it got lost in the crease color so after I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to go in with a highlight. Um, I know the blush has a little bit of shimmer in it, but I, I like a lot of highlight on the face. So I'm going to go in with a pink toned highlight and I'm going to add that to my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, chin, etc. And then I'm going to be applying a pinky nude lipstick color um, onto my lips. I will make sure to put all product information down below so make sure to check out the description box for any questions you might have on products. But anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the eyes and I'm going to take an eyeliner, um, a gel liner, and I'm going to apply that um, to my lids to kind of do just a little eh, subtle kind of cat I guess you could say. Um, but you don't have to do this step if you want more of a fresh face kind of look. But I just have been really loving wing liner lately. So it's kind of a habit that I can't get away from. Next, I'm just going to make sure to curl my lashes and go in with some mascara. After that, the makeup look is complete and we can move on to hair. So I'm using the Big Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Serum, which is amazing for the hair. I know this because I already own it, which was awesome. I found it in my glam bag and I was like, yay, I already own it, so this is awesome. But it's really, really good to apply after you're done styling for a nice, shiny, healthy finish. Next, moving on to nails. Springtime means spring nail colors, nail polishes. Um, so this color is really pretty. It is by Seishan Nail Liquor and I'm using the color Love at First Bite. It is like this really pretty kind of nudie 
almost peachy color. Um, it's great, it's opaque, it goes on really nicely. Um, I really like the consistency. I'm really picky with nail polishes and I really like this one. And it just leaves a really pretty nude color on the nails. So that's pretty much it you guys. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Check out the description box for more details.